You want to tell them what we're doing today? What's up, guys? Uh, it's Daniel here with Daily Garage Adventures. So we're going to go ahead and head out to the garage, and I'll show you what we're up to today. So sticking with the, uh, sticking with the motorcycles this episode. As you can see, the collection grew a little bit. But All right, so what we got here is a 2007 uh, VTX 1300. And what we'll be doing today, we'll be coming down here and we'll be changing the uh, drive shaft right here, the diff fluid right here in the back. Okay, so we're going to get our 3 8 uh, socket socket wrench. We'll get a 17 mil for these. They're going to be the same size. And they, uh, we'll just need a drain pan, something to catch the, uh, the old oil in. Okay, so we'll get started and I'll get you guys set up. All right, guys. So they recommend doing this every ten to twelve thousand miles on a bike uh, if you get one, especially a shaft driven on the rear diff. Um, I haven't had. I just got this bike, uh, so every time I get a new bike, I always do it and replace it just because it's an expensive part, you know, to replace if it does go bad. So it's literally going to take me two minutes to do. Like not even fast forwarding this video. So. Uh, we're gonna start this once again. You guys got the uh, just need an oil pan, just something to catch the old oil in. Uh, <clears throat> just a rag, you get your 3H drive ratchet, got a 17 mil uh, socket right there. Um, so these are gonna be the same thing. So I went to buy it, uh, and they only came in this huge jug. So this is an old one. Um, so glad I still had this. So basically, I'll just pour this in here. It's the same stuff. So this is what you want though. You want the shaft drive oil so it's basically just make sure it's a high point it has to be a high point uh the gear oil and you want like an 80 or 85 weight uh for this uh particular bike so other than that uh i got my got this set down so we can uh set it down to spec when we're done there so so you may see a little oil seep out of here uh if so, that's no big deal. You wanna make sure while you're doing this process, you got the bike standing up as straight as possible. Um, so it's gonna be, looks like it's about to drip out just a little bit. So throw that under there. So as you guys can see, that's, that's some nasty stuff. Uh, so this is probably, this bike's got about 18,000 miles on it. So it's probably, honestly, that's probably never been changed. Um, which is fine, so. Again, just make sure when you pull this cap off, it's just a little aluminum cap. There's an O-ring on here. Make sure that stays in there. You don't want to lose that, all right? So then we'll take this one off. So on this one, there's going to be a uh, going to be a copper crush washer on there, okay? So again, make sure you don't lose that either. So we could probably reuse it. So here's your crush washer. Go ahead, feel it. See if it's got you know lift or anything like that. Try to keep it on the bolt the same way it came off. So we put it back on. It'll get that good seal again. All right. So set that right there. Go ahead, let this drain. Um, yeah, it is some some nasty looking stuff. So all right. So we'll go ahead, and let this drain, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. All right, go play in traffic. Go play in traffic somewhere. All right, guys, looks like we're just about done draining here, so we'll go ahead and just wipe off whatever little bit we got left. All right, so this is all cleaned off. Let's go ahead and throw that back in there. Go ahead and wipe it one more time. Again, what you're gonna you're gonna want to put this to 14 foot pounds. All right, so got this set to 14. We'll just hear a click. All right, there you go. It's 14 foot pounds in the top. All right, so just wipe this off one more time. All right, so again, this should only take about five ounces. So 
basically just get this up here you want the bike as upright as it can possibly be basically you just want it to once it's full it's going to fill up like this it's just gonna you want it barely seeping over these threads right here and dribbling out right so that's when you know it's you're good So you see you wiped it off, it's not coming out anymore. So we just need a little bit more in there. Okay. Alright, see how it's just slowly running out over the threads there? It's exactly what you want. So we're just doing one more time just to be sure. Get it all in there. Wipe it off one more time. Just wait for it to come over the threads. Alrighty. Then throw your, make sure your rings on there. Go ahead, thread it in by hand so you don't strip it. Yeah, this is going to be the same one. It's going to be a 14 foot pound. So again, listen for the click. Alrighty. Alright guys, that's, that's it. We're done. Uh, like I said, it's a short process and uh, you know, for just a couple minute couple minute job you can save you a hell of a lot of money so uh recommend you guys do it if you got any questions go ahead comment below and i'll catch you later